I want to take people off their phones, off the internet, and just be in that moment, interacting with a physical thing, and then later be like, that was weird. That, that was a fun thing that I saw today. I'm Taylor Valdez. I am the mind and muscle behind the Venderia, a non-traditional vending machine business. The Venderia does not sell snack food. We don't sell anything you can eat! Just art, media, magic, and everything you need for a good night out. About one third of the products I make myself. Another third are things that I buy from thrift shops, estate sales, yard sales, or the Dollar Tree. And another third comes from local artists. I started just by having vending machines in bars. Now I have vending machines in boutiques. It's just cool to take a simple box, a simple machine, and find ways to make it work in new places and appeal to different people. So when you walk in the front door of the bar, you're gonna look and see the most amazing, fantastical vending machine that you've ever experienced in your life. And it's something that we always wanted to have when we were writing our business plan to buy a bar. We were like, we are gonna have one of these vending machines. It has unexpected things all the time, even to old jaded Portland weirdos like us. You can find sweet little gifts, you can find quirky things, pop on an eye patch, you take a pregnancy test. Anything you want, really. These are actually my favorite. <laughs> Right now, I'm operating 18 vending machines across Portland. A day in the life. I wake up, get my kid ready for school. The moment she gets on the school bus, it's like, hallelujah. Then I drink four to six cups of coffee, and I work in my studio, packaging products, drawing, ordering things online, contacting the artists, kind of setting up the sourcing of my products. Then around noon is when I hop in my van, the Vanderia, and start cruising around town. I usually hit the boutiques first and then go to the bars because they open later. And then I rush home in order to be here when my kid gets home from school. It's just like this pure expression of her creativity and art. And that's what I love about Portland is you can do that. Maybe it's weird, but like, Aren't the best things weird because they're not normal, because people are actually feeling like free to be who they are? That's what I love. 